This is going to be harsh. Okay, enough is enough. I am tired of all the nonsense and now it's time to take the gloves off. Guys, make sure there are no children in the room that can hear me. And if you're the soft-spoken, gentle type, this video is probably not going to be for you, so I'm going to suggest you just stop watching right now. Simply said, half the agents that I speak with either fail completely at final expense sales or they simply don't do very much once they do get into selling final expense life insurance. And it all comes down to just stupid nonsense that can easily be remedied. You're going to see exactly what I mean coming up after this. I'm Douglas Massey and I am mad as hell. I'm not going to take it anymore. However, if you're new to final expense sales, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell. We're putting out new final expense sales training videos every single week. And please smash down on that thumbs up button right now so that YouTube keeps sharing our content to new life insurance agents who maybe haven't found our channel yet. And one more thing. If you hang around till the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to get the new agent zip file that every successful final expense agent should definitely have. Now, this bad boy will absolutely make selling final expense a lot easier for you and anybody who uses it. When I was a young lad, my mother owned an ice cream parlor. Now, this woman, she used to drive an hour to work, an hour from work every day. She opened it and closed it herself six days a week. On her free time, which wasn't much, she cooked the daily special at home, brought it to work each day, and when it was all said and done, you know, my mom easily worked 70 to even more than 80 hours every single week. Because that's what people do that own their own businesses. They do whatever they have to do to be successful. And did I mention she had me to take care of? I mean, believe me, I didn't give her any breaks. Raising me was not a walk in the park. Living with and being taken care of by a hardworking single woman for really a good part of my childhood was important for my growth. And it, you know, it's gonna always be a part of who I am and why I am the person that I am today. And mom, I know you're watching, a day doesn't go by that I don't think about you. So when I see agents struggling to pay their bills, to get by, because they just simply don't want to put in the effort that it takes to be successful, it really pisses me off. I find that shit insulting. It's insulting to me and to anyone who owns their own business that wouldn't be successful if they hadn't poured their heart and their soul along with every single penny that they could beg, borrow, or steal into their business, along with... I don't know, basically investing every friggin' waking hour. The only way you can fail at final expense sales is if you don't try hard enough, period. Let me say this in a clear way that is absolutely lucid to everyone. No matter what commission level you're at, no matter how good or how bad the leads you're working are, no matter how little or how much time your manager puts into helping you. If you're failing at final expense sales, you're just not trying hard enough because 90% of that is on you and you have to accept that. Our business is failure proof when you do three things that every successful business person has to do in order to be successful. Number one, you invest time into your business. People that work for other people put in like 40 to 50 hours per week, right? Business owners, they put in as much time and effort that it takes to have a successful business. And even if they have to put in like 12 to 15 hours a day, period. Number two, you invest financially into the business. <sighs> nothing, I mean nothing pisses me off more than emails like you know, the one I got last week from an agent, and if this sounds familiar to you, please don't be upset with me. I'm just sharing it the way it is. 
It starts off with, and they, they usually do with something like, Doug, I need your help. A couple of months ago, I got into the final expense sales business and I've invested hundreds of dollars and I'm not getting anywhere. Hundreds of dollars? Are you serious? Dude, I spent hundreds of dollars on toilet paper last month. What the hell are you talking about? If you've been in the business for a couple of months and have only invested a few hundred dollars into your success, into fulfilling your financial dreams, into your insurance business, this business is not and never will be for you. Not until you can change your broken ass thinking. McDonald's, Burger King, they're hiring, just go. I'll, look, I'll see you in about 20 years when you're living off a $700 a month social security check and you go to fill out a little lead card thinking, wow, I might be getting something free from the government because that's where you're going. That's the direction you're headed right now. But it's no problem. I'll sell you a $3,000 final expense policy. It probably is only going to be around $3,000 because you'll only be able to afford like $20 bucks a, a month at that time. Number three, stop accepting mediocrity and depending on other people to help you pay your bills and get money. If you have a job and you're working for someone else, you're depending on someone else to get paid. You're depending on other people for you. Independent final expense insurance agents depend on ourselves to get paid. I mean, we do whatever we have to do to be successful. And I know this sounds familiar. For a lot of us, we're able to actually create an income stream that's up there with that top 10% of the highest income earners in the greatest country on earth. The good old United States of America. For more information on joining our final expense sales team, or if you'd like to get a copy of that new agent zip file that I mentioned earlier in the video, just email me at doug at ufesonline.com. Remember, when you put the needs of your clients first, everything else is usually going to fall right into place. So get out there and do something good for someone today. Happy hunting.